Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, in today's lesson, I'd like to talk about the balloon popping effect. Uh, I was recently asked how uh, how is possible to create such an effect. So uh, let's see actually how uh, it was done. So here you see it's a fairly simple setup. So uh, to apply this effect on several balloons, first I, uh, I, I wanted to test how it will work uh, uh, just with one balloon, okay? So here I have my sphere and I'm creating uh, edge fracture, so uh, which create uh, a few uh, pieces of which splits actually my sphere into a few pieces. Okay, then I lift it up and uh, and create and add a vellum clause uh, node to it. So uh, the parameters are the basics one. The idea behind the, the setup is that I, I, I want my my balloon to fly upwards, okay? So uh, I simply change the stretching and bend parameters to uh, to make my balloon uh, stay in shape, okay, to keep its shape. And then I've added this vellum stitch, uh, which uh, holds all the pieces together, okay. And then uh, here in the vellum solver. I lowered down my gravity and uh, uh, add some velocity damping to uh, to slow down uh, the balloon. Okay, and some friction attributes and in solver. Yeah, I've added some substeps uh, to uh, get a more proper result. And um, here in the Vellum Solver node, I create a few parameters, which uh, if I simply cache it. So as you see, we have So, balloon flying upwards, and at some time, at some point, it uh, pops. So, uh, there are three parameters that I've uh, uh, animated to achieve this effect. The first one was um, the breaking threshold. Uh, uh, so I'd like at some point uh, to uh, break this uh, stitching uh, threshold. Okay, so here I uh, created a custom parameter that I've animated. So as you see, whenever it goes to zero, it pops. Another parameter that I've animated is a stretching value. Uh, if I, for example, simply turn this off, I would like to um, each piece. Uh, if I turn this off as well. So here I have my pieces, but uh, I'd like them to shrink because, as we know, the the balloon has um, kind of a very stretchy surface, so it should uh, shrink uh, as soon as it pops. Okay, so uh, here I'm playing with the stretching value uh, where I want. Uh, the balloon uh, 
before uh, before popping it should expand a little bit it should so I'd like to if I cache it once again so uh, here I have uh, the parameter of wrestling scale on a stretch uh, attribute being one and then it expands a little bit so uh, I see the balloon expanding and then uh, going to some lower values just to uh, just to get shrinked okay And, um, and the last parameter that I'd like to uh, also animate is the band parameter. Uh, I would like to um, crumble those pieces. So I cache it once again. So um, as you see, uh, whenever it shrinks, it starts to uh, start to crumble a little bit. Okay. So as you see, it's a very simple effect. Uh, next, uh, here I'm having uh, the group, the fall group. Uh, which uh, which has this expression whenever my breaking threshold is equal to zero it will uh, it will add it to the group okay which is fall group here uh, I'm adding a gravity to to the fall group also uh, Also, uh, I'd like to uh, slowly uh, lower down the speed of uh, of this pieces of falling pieces, uh, and then the last one I added the collision behavior, which uh, simply stops stops the pieces from sliding um, on the surface. Okay. So whenever they fall, they stop. Um, you can actually um, change it to none and uh, continue to uh, work on on the uh, on the effect, uh, like to give them slide a little bit and then stop, but. Um, since um, the, the the main goal, the main task was to create the popping effect and just uh, like uh, having the the more or less the proper ending uh, of the effect, I decided to not go that uh, deep into uh, into the. Uh, evolving the effect okay so um, so after I uh, got the result that I want now I need to apply this effect to several spheres uh, in a random fashion okay so uh, here I have a grid with some point being scattered on, on it and some noise values just to lift them up uh, off the grid okay then I'm lifting it more then adding some sort values just to uh, randomly uh, spread the effect onto the, the these points okay here I have a random p scale value so my uh, uh, 
created balloons have a different uh, size and random colors as well and then uh, I'm adding the uh, forage point uh, cycle and what I'm doing here I'm creating uh, those attributes that you've seen in the uh, Vellum Solar node this is the breaking threshold which has the same uh, animation animated parameter okay from uh, from some higher values to zero and then uh, this is the uh, stretch uh, attribute which is also uh, animated so I have this breaking threshold starting and then the next one is the uh, stretching attribute taking place and the last one is the bending takes effect all right so i have those attributes uh, uh, animated okay and then uh, here i'm copying my sphere so i have all those attributes uh, assigned to each of the sphere and then edge fracture some uh, normals being fixed and then time shift where we have our uh, forage metadata uh, being used to uh, time shift each of the effect okay so they will not pop at once but uh, they may pop randomly uh, you can of course uh, just uh, create like one sphere and uh, create a, a few versions of the same sphere but then uh, simply uh, distribute each sphere on a different point which will also work and it might be even faster okay uh, but uh, yeah uh, this is also a solution uh, Uh, but you can try uh, both, of, both of the methods which are valid okay so here I am having those close properties uh, stitches and uh, in the vellum solver node I'm simply uh, I'm simp simply copying those uh, attributes uh, to the uh, to our spheres, okay. I want those uh, parameters that I've created to affect uh, these um, attributes that we, that we have. Okay, and. Uh, Um, here I have created uh, some uh, force just to uh, affect those uh, pieces of, of, of the geometry so whenever it pops like it, it should um, well actually no uh, I, I would like those spheres because they are um, lifting equally uh, upwards uh, I would like to uh, add some randomness uh, so they could just fly in a chaotic way okay which which is uh, more natural and the rest is the same and then uh, we may cache we need to cache uh, the result and what do we have we have our popping spheres so you may also add some digitalization uh, create more pieces like not just a few pieces uh, like uh, i have but in terms of uh, speed uh, i decided to go with a few pieces uh, of each uh, balloon okay 
and then uh, simply uh, adjusted my colors and uh, and then I can render so uh, yeah so this is the fact uh, I hope you like the lesson and if you find it useful uh, please subscribe and uh, thank you very much good luck and goodbye